Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to show you yellow rattle in action. So yellow rattle is a wildflower and it works in a way quite, it's quite different to a lot of plants. What it does is it grows like a normal plant and it can photosynthesize and get its nutrients through light and its water through its roots. But it also needs to parasitize other plants and what it does is it taps into their roots and it takes out the minerals and the, and the sugars from those plants and it helps it to feed itself. So it's a parasitic plant. So there's not many parasitic plants around, but this is an interesting one. It's also a very useful one as well. So this is a meadow here, and this is um, basically supposed to be a woodland garden eventually, but for now it's just an open meadowland. And the problem is quite rich soil. And so what happens is the grass always grows really strong and dominates everything. You can see there's a few areas here where it's quite thick with grass. And this would just be like a pure lawn if it wasn't for the yellow rattle. So we've sown some yellow rattle and the yellow rattle is really keeping the grass down. If it wasn't for the yellow rattle, this would be about two or three foot high now with grass, but the yellow rattle is really helping to keep it down. And the reason you want to keep the grass down in a meadow situation like this is because it's going to let a lot of the wildflowers come in. If it's just too much grass, the grass will outcompete everything else, and you'll just be left with nothing but, but grasses and very few wildflowers. So I'll show you some demonstrations now of the yellow rattle working. So we've got lots of different yellow rattle. This whole area is completely covered in them, but we've got some down here which are particularly healthy. So you can see this bit here. There's not a huge amount of yellow rattle, and there's a lot of grass. So the yellow rattle is getting loads of feed that it needs from the grasses. So you can see that this one in particular down here, it's just starting to flower. It's got a nice dark green color and it's quite a large plant. So other ones further back there as well are even taller. So there's a good amount of grass here. So it's feeding off that grass and it's, it's really healthy. If we look over here where we've got loads and loads of yellow rattle, in fact, there's almost too much yellow rattle. The yellow rattle is very small and in places it's actually dying off. So you can see down here, some of it's going brown and dying and the yellow rattle is dying off. That's because there's been so much yellow rattle that it's actually killed off nearly all of the grass. You can see here, the grass is very little, it's very stunted and it's starting to die off. So the grass here is dying. That means we've got some bare soil for other plants to come in and take advantage of this. So you can see here, we've got some vetches starting to appear just starting to self seed and there's other wildflowers coming up so you can really see how well it's working you can see that particularly well at the back here as well so you can see there you've got this really lush uh, yellow rattle on the left here and then we've got a big thick bit of grass where there's no yellow rattle and then further left where there's no grasses or very few grasses lots of yellow rattle the yellow rattle is much weaker and there's other wild flowers starting to come through. So I'd like to also show you this part. So this area, there's been yellow rattle established for a few years and we're getting a lot of nice wildflowers coming through. So we've got some hawkweed coming through here. You can see self-seeding. We've also got some young oxide daisies starting to self-seed. We've got some, some vetches as well. And if we wanted to sow in some wildflower in mix into this as well, because the grass isn't as strong, it would really take off quite well and, and start to dominate. So that's all for this video. Just a very quick video to show you yellow rattle in action. If you want to see a video about how to put it into your wildflower meadow, I've made a video about that previously and you can see that on my, on my channel. But that's just a quick video to show you yellow rattle in action. When you get a really good dense stand of yellow rattle, it gets quite dominant and it can really help to keep down your grasses and it allow you to grow some nice wildflowers instead. So, so what you'll find is the first year, it will start working straight away and keep the grass is weakened but you might not have very high density of it then it will do well in its first year set loads of seed and then you'll get a really dense mat like this after two or three years and you'll really keep on top of those grasses